Welcome again to Acting Out of Love. So we spend a few moments in the book of Acts as we look at the life of these early Christians, these apostles, as they are acting out of their love for God and sharing with others the love that God has for them and for the world. As we come now, we come to Acts chapter 21. Acts chapter 21. We're going to begin at verse 7. Acts 21, verse 7. Paul and company are continuing their journey towards Jerusalem. They have just spent seven days in Tyre. Verse 7 begins, And when we had finished the voyage from Tyre, we arrived at Ptolemais, and after greeting the brothers, we stayed with them for a day. And on the next day we left and came to Caesarea, and entering the house of Philip the evangelist, who was one of the seven, we stayed with him. Now this man had four virgin daughters who prophesied. And as we were staying there for some days, a prophet named Agabus came from down from Judea. And coming to us, he took Paul's belt and bound it on his feet and hands and said, This is what the Holy Spirit says. In this way, the Jews at Jerusalem will bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And when we had heard this, we, as well as the local residents, began begging him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What are you doing? crying and breaking my heart for I am not only ready for I am ready not only to be bound but even to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus and since he would not be persuaded we fell silent saying the will of the Lord be done now after these days we got ready and started on our way up to Jerusalem and some of the disciples from Caesarea also came with us, taking us to Nansen of Cyprus, an early disciple with whom we were to lodge. And after we arrived in Jerusalem, the brothers welcomed us gladly. The key verse in this passage to me that shows us who Paul is, is verse 13. What are you doing crying and breaking my heart. For I am ready not only to be bound, but to die for the name of the Lord Jesus. Paul is saying, yes, I know this is what's been told me. Yes, others have said similar things, but I need to go. And if I go and I'm arrested, I'm arrested. But I need to go to do the Lord's will. Even if I die. That's a hard statement, isn't it? Let me ask you to really consider your focus and your desires and your willingness to serve God. Paul and others are so committed to the cause of Christ that they are going to do what they can to spread his name even if it means the cost of their freedom even if it means the cost of their life I live in a nation and specifically a state within that nation where it is easy to be a Christian you might as well. How would we react if it weren't that easy? Those are the questions that come to my mind when Paul says, why are you crying and breaking my heart? I'm ready not only to be bound, but to die in Jerusalem for the sake of the Lord. Can we be that ready? Is our faith that strong? Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for the blessings you give us, for your love, for your care, for your sacrifice. And Father, when we reflect on your sacrifice of your son, 
we know that we should be so committed and so appreciative of that act of love of yours that we are willing to act in love for you no matter what it takes. Father, give us that, give us that strength, give us that courage. Thank you for hope. Thank you for grace. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for allowing me to join you for these devotionals. Just some things for us to think about as we go about our week. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.